for any complex number, so z equals a plus b i, the complex conjugate of that number is defined as a minus b i. Okay, these are often referred to as a complex conjugate pair. So let's say I have this complex number. If I want to write down the complex conjugate of this number, it's going to be the same but with the opposite sign. Okay, and then a few other things just to, to note. If I add my pair of complex conjugate numbers, so 2 minus 5i plus 2 plus 5i, what I get is 2 plus 2 is 4, and my minus 5i plus 5i will cancel out. So I get a real value there, real number. And if I look at the product of these, so 2 minus 5i, 2 plus 5i, again 2 2 is a 4, that's going to give me plus 10i minus 10i minus 25i squared, so that's going to be 4 plus 25 in this case, remembering that i squared is negative 1, and that's 29. And again, I get a real number. So if I'm adding them or finding the product of the two, then I'll always get a real value. Now another place where I would use this is if I've got two complex numbers that are currently divided. So if I have something like this, so I'm dividing two complex numbers there. Now the method is very much the same as how we rationalize a denominator when we're simplifying thirds. So all I need to do here is multiply top and bottom by the same thing. I want to get rid of the kind of the complex number of the bottoms so is just a real number. So I'm going to multiply by its conjugate pair, its complex conjugate pair there, the second value of that. So 3 plus 2i top and bottom. Okay, and doing this, this is how I then would get it in the form of a plus b i. So I'll do this one quickly. We've got 15 plus 10i plus 12i plus 8i squared on the top. And on the bottom, I've got 9. The little bits will cancel. And I've got minus 4i squared. So on the top, my 8i squared becomes negative 8, so I've got 15 minus 8 is 7, and I've got 22i, and my minus 4i squared will become plus 4, so I get that over 13. And then all I need to do is separate this out to make sure it's in the form of a plus B I. Here are six questions for you to try. Pause the video now. Answers to one, two, three, and four. Very straightforward, so just give you straight the answers there. Number five I will go through. So let's first set it up in the right form. So we're gonna have five plus two i over four minus i and that is what my z is, my complex number. So 
want to find this, so let's multiply by its conjugate, so 4 plus i, 4 plus i. So we got 5 times 4 is 20, 5i plus 8i plus 2i squared. Just remember, dealing with the top as if they're two brackets, 4 4 is a 16. And I get 4i and minus 4i, so that'll go. And I get minus i squared. So 20 and the 2i is, this 2i here is going to be a negative 2i because of the i squared. So that leaves me with 18 plus 13i. And minus I squared, I squared is minus 1, so it's minus minus 1, so we got this over 17. So we get 18 over 17 plus 13 over 17 I. Now well, that's it done. Relatively easy, just like rationalising a third. Now this one looks a little bit harder, but it's not actually too hard. So if I first think my first initial instinct is probably let's expand the bracket but that's not the easiest way because we want to get z on its own so the easiest way to do that is to keep that z minus 2i there and divide by the 4 minus 2i sorry it's 4 plus 2i then let's essentially like rationalize it like i would do rationalizing but you know just getting in the form of a plus b i so i need to multiply by its conjugate so it's four minus two i there so six fours 24 minus 12 i minus 16 i and then plus eight i squared at the end and then four fours are 16 and we've got negative 8 i plus 8 i will cancel out and then i've got minus 4 i squared along the bottom so we've got on the top we've got 24 for a real part and we've got this here which will be a minus 8 because of the i squared so 24 minus 8. Then we've got minus 12 minus 16, so minus 28i. And then we've got minus 4i squared, so it's minus 4 times minus 1 is plus 4, so that's over 20. So we've got 16 over 20. And minus 28 over 20 and it's probably worth us simplifying this one uh, here so that should be four fifths minus seven fifths i and now we want to be comparing this with this one here with this one so what i'll do is just to keep everything on one page I'm going to write this in black, so we've got z minus 2i must be equal to 4 fifths minus 7 over 5i. So if I add the 2i, z will equal 4 fifths plus 3 fifths. Because obviously the 2i is the same as 10 fifths there. And that's it done again not too difficult looks a lot harder than it actually is uh, if you like the video just like and subscribe and check out my other videos coming soon for well all all modules in maths ial maths and further maths